things we still need to do uh, the, the drawer fronts the new door on the vanity and the upright cabinets I have all of those built I just need to get them put on the drawers and mount the doors uh, shower head for the shower we're, we caulked this so we're not trying to stay off of it and not be walking around in it uh, but that's just a matter of screwing the shower head pipe in the wall and then attaching the shower head and I still have to trim this doorway out along with the window but again that's minor stuff we at least have the sink working and the toilets working so that's a good days good days worth of progress Here's our shower arm. It's called a shepherd's hook. Rather than just the little short arm, we wanted it to extend out to approximately to the center of the shower. So that's what this should do. This is an 18 inch arm. The shower is 36 to 38. So we're hoping that'll work okay. Teflon tape. That's what we're going to use on the threads. Helps prevent leaks. And let me get it started here. Now the instructions say screw the wall end of shower arm into fitting inside of wall. Hand tighten. Well, it's the wrong one. Number one, remove existing shower head arm and flange in the clockwise direction. Apply two to three complete wraps of thread sealant tape to both ends of the shower arm. Right. So this is one of the ends. Yeah, I've already put some on, but I'm going to put just a little bit more. Uh, this will seal those threads and on these shower arms the chances of you getting it tight and good and snug and the arm being like you want it are pretty slim so this way you can move it to where it's straight up and down and then the, the tape will seal the threads anyway even if, even if it's not super duper tight Now hopefully when we get it to the point where it's tight, it will be turned straight down, but usually that doesn't work out. See, it's getting tight there. So, and I can't, I don't want to overdo it because that's a plastic fitting. So we'll do it like that. There's that. And we want to wrap the tape clockwise so it would be like this the same way it threads on so we're going to go around this way okay that's about three rounds Been doing a few finishing touches this morning. Uh, thresholds down. I just use the wall boards to finish the jam on the doorway. And trimmed the window out. Used the wall board on it too. By the mirrored cabinet, we have one more thing to do, and that's put a, there was a shelf up there before. We're going to use the same shelf. We'll have to cut the width down. It's too wide now, but we'll get that put up. And think about what I can do to this little cubby that we built in the wall here. I think I'm going to put some barn metal in the back and maybe paint it black, paint the interior. Paint the interior black. Uh, I'm not sure on the outside what I'll do to that on the outside edge. Rita's cubby, she's happy with the way it is. Uh, it's going to get a the, the full length mirror, the five foot mirror that we had on the wall before. I'm, I'm going to build a frame for it and 
put it on hinges so it will cover this up until you open it up open that way probably back into the corner then put the shower control valve the handle on and a decorative trim around it we did do a little more caulking there at the, where the walls meet the base on the inside we found a couple of gaps that had opened up so we re that and probably wait till tomorrow it's been about 24 hours but we'll give it another 24 just to be sure that the caulking's dry all right here's the mirror that we plan on putting over the cubby that we built in the wall and we were considering just building a wood frame around this frame but I think we're going to try to take the mirror out of this frame build a new wood frame with the grooves in it where the mirror was set in the inside the wood frame I think that's going to be the better solution here's the idea that we came up with for the mirror using these old barn pieces of barn wood that I'd already planed down to the three-quarter and they're two and an eighth wide like typical trim is and just plowed grooves where the glass goes and I have it fitting pretty loose because I don't want to stress put stress on the glass when I tighten these pocket screws down so the glass will float it'll float in the center of the of the frame and then once we get the pocket screws in this other side then I'm going to put some plywood in the very back just as additional support for the glass here's my pocket screw jig you just clamp your board in there tighten it down drill your holes where you want them you have three selections I'm using these two which is pretty narrow trim and you set your depth on the side see I have it set for 5 8 because some of this trim varies it'll be 5 8 to almost 3 quarters so 5 8 is safe it won't come out the front side if I do it that way and there's our outside of the mirror Here's the plywood I put on the back, and I just siliconed it around the edge. Put some weight on it while the silicone dried. And then I put the pocket screw plugs, cover the pocket screw holes up. Next we'll put a coat of polyurethane, probably a couple of coats on the front and one on the back here and finally some brushed nickel hinges and that'll match the rest of the bathroom fixtures putting a polyurethane on the mirror this morning that will tend to make it a little darker which is okay but it'll also seal it good and be easier to keep clean Hopefully, just a little more to do. We'll have the polyurethane on it and we'll be ready to hang the mirror up. Here's the leather we're going to be using for handles on our doors and drawer, drawers. And I cut these, this came in a 72 inch piece, so I was able to get 11. And that's, that's what I needed for the vanity and the upright cabinet. And I'm down here in the in the shop digging through some screws. I got a pretty good selection of those. And I decided on these. And I'll of course bore holes in the handles. I think that'll fit in well with the rest of the room. I'll need 22, so I gotta do some more digging here in the this bin right here is where they're at. 
See if I can find a few more. Found 22. And instead of trying to drill holes in the ends of this leather, I have a hole punch set. And that one probably would fit the screw tighter. But we may, I think, I think we'll go with this one. Yeah, that'd probably work. Yeah, I think that's about the right size. Let's try it here and see. Yes, good, pretty good fit. Not really doing any measuring on these holes. I'm just centering them up and down and about a quarter inch or so or three eighths maybe from the edge. What do you think of those leather handles? Here's a completed mirror, and it will, it's going to cover to cover the cubby. I'm going to try to mount these hinges just flush mounted. I'm going to see how it works. We'll just mount this part flush against the wall right over here. Just mounted the hinges flush. And they worked out fine. Two hinges, six inches from the top and six inches from the bottom. So that should be plenty of support. And it opens all the way back like that. And when you're finished, you just shut the door. That's also a full length mirror. One last look at our completed remodel. This is a small bathroom, but it works out for us, and uh, I think it does look a little larger than before. Thanks to scooting that mirror back, and just a combination of things made it look like it's a little larger. Get the mood lighting on here. And we got the new toilets, got the dual flush, the buttons on top. And of course the ceiling, multicolored ceiling. One thing I did want to point out, you won't see any trim as far as base mold, wind trim, door trim. Uh, we purposely wanted it like that. The door jams and the window jams simply come out even with the wall board right here. Uh, won't be any bait, any molding put on that. No molding around the ceiling. We was able to make it fit tight. I know there's been several videos, but this took us like two and a half weeks to do this, which hope you enjoyed the videos uh, I know it 
there's quite a few of them. It took us about two and a half weeks to complete this. And, and that was actually less time than I had anticipated. We remodeled our kitchen several years ago and it took us about three months on it. So we got along really well. The fact that Rita was off work that first week really helped out. So thanks for watching. See you next time. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.